you're gonna put this in someone else's face or in someone else's mouth, it'd be rude not to paint them. I told you I manifested this. I manifested this. It's a meet event, and Izzy has another opportunity to get a title defense. Not against Jerkis Duplessis, though. He's taking on Sean Strickland, who stepped up after DDP. I don't want to say fumbled the bag, but decided he was not ready on September 9th when this fight goes down. So Izzy is now fighting Sean Strickland. Kudos to Strickland for stepping up. And the last time we saw Strickland, he was absolutely putting to rest an absolute hype train that was Abus Magomedov and I got to own it. I picked Abus in that one. I was buying the hype, but Sean Strickland made very light, easy work of that. And it was a second straight, beautiful performance. He got the same thing. He did the same thing essentially against Nasruddin Imavov. And if we remember, that was also a last second shakeup, one where Strickland was essentially down to be a company guy and fight a difficult dude with a tough last name. So I think a lot of people have been questioning whether Sean Strickland deserves this opportunity or not. But once Duplass C decided he didn't want to fight, I think that Strickland's the next guy up. The two basically UFC favors he did him most recently, in my opinion, earned him this title shot. But, I mean, it's definitely uphill sledding in this one against Izzy. Izzy obviously just got his belt back. He took out Alex Pereira. The absolutely lethal strikes. Sort of was playing possum, at least he said, and then absolutely slept AP. Finished him with the bow and arrows on the ground. And that was just a really cool thing to see because, obviously, Izzy had the pretty rough stretch against Pereira uh, historically and for him to get that belt back and really get that performance of the night finish manifested the uh, post mic interview afterwards it was all just pretty heroic for sure so and this will meet boy any chance Sean Strickland cashes as basically a plus 500 dog or is this just an easy light work title defense for Adesanya and it's on to Duplessis or maybe even Hamza next who are you taking in this one and what you know, this is such a tough one, man, because Sean Strickland has really been showing some really immaculate skills, and two, he's in his last two fights, he's two and two. Is his last two fights, he's one and one. Not looking too good, in my opinion. To see him as a minus 600 kind of, like, is a little delusional. It must be the Aussie, and honestly, it must be the people in Nigeria just hammering those money lines in the, you know, the Australian fight. Um, but... I don't know, I kind of lean Israel Adesanya, but man, Sean Strickland's really yeah. been impressing me. He could get it done. Um, but I just, I think Izzy will get, get a very lame, you know, slow decision. I don't think he's going to sleep Sean Strickland like Pereira did, because Pereira's always got to do one thing, you know, with something better, one up him. Like, he just beat his Pol the Polish brother, um pretty convincingly while Adesanya had a lot of trouble for Jan Blachowicz. So I think Adesanya is going to do some, is going to win, but not in spectacular fashion like the boogeyman did. Yeah, and I don't blame you for that assessment. I mean, before that finish over Pereira, Adesanya did pick up three straight wins, but they were all by decision, right? That fight against Jared Kanier was kind of slow paced, very tactical, still dominant where he basically won every round, but Never a fight where Kanier was in danger of being finished. And same thing against Whitaker that second time. And same thing as Marvin Torrey the second time. Where it was all like methodical, just slowly grind you down, beat you down style. Dominant affairs for Izzy nonetheless, but not one where guys were on the verge of getting finished. So if somehow Strickland survives five, that wouldn't be the craziest thing to me. I honestly think that the greatest value for this fight might even be Adesanya by decision. You might be getting plus 150, plus 160 for that. To KO, TKO, I'd imagine it'd be like plus 300-ish, maybe even north of that. So perhaps there's some value there, but I'm kind of with you, boy. I think that Adesanya, I, I'm picking Adesanya, obviously. I don't think minus 600 is that crazy. Like, if this closed around minus 900, that wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world to me because stylistically, I just struggle to see a world where Sean Strickland gets this one done. I like Sean Strickland as a fighter. I think he's uh, historically been underrated. I like this, uh, the well-versed skill set that he brings, but it just seems like... Everywhere against Adesanya, he's going to be at a disadvantage. So in this one, I'm going to go Adesanya. I'm going to go Adesanya by decision. 90% of topology is seen it the same way, but there's a lot of brown for the uh, Adesanya KO. So do you think that uh, Adesanya decision will be the juiciest, most available option? Or is there really a good chance that Adesanya wins by KO? 
Uh, there's definitely, you know, a world where he wins by KO, but I just don't see it. I think it'll be a decision. Shantrick on his great cardio is his great cardio, so we don't have to worry about gas tanks. So it's either going to be a grimy, slimy decision, or Izzy wins maybe by knockout. I'm not as bullish as Tapology, but hey, maybe I'm maybe I'm an Izzy hater. I don't know. Yeah, I feel you on that one. I would say I'm not as bullish on the Adesanya KO like Tapology is as well. So with you all the way, Meat Boy, and just lastly, real quick, kind of a curveball, but I think a lot of people assume that Izzy's going to get on the mic and call out Duplessis again, but do you think that Izzy, in the back of his mind, is thinking, you know what, I already gave this dude a platform, I allowed him to face off in the cage, and he decided to not show up during that first week of September. Any chance he assumes that Chimaev is going to get through Costa and hops on the mic, bypasses Duplessis, and goes straight after Shemaev? You know, I can totally see that, but... I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see when we see, I guess you could say. Well, if there are some out there. Thank <laughs> you.